Agent Smith, let's talk about him. So this is the, he has some really great lines, man, just talking to Morpheus when he had Morpheus locked up in the, in the building. He said, did you know that the first Matrix was designed to be perfect, to be a perfect human world where no one suffered, where everyone would be happy? It was a disaster. No one would accept the program. Entire crops were lost. Some believe we lack the programming language to describe your perfect world. But I believe that as a species, human beings define their reality through suffering and misery. The perfect world was a dream that your primitive cerebrum kept trying to wake up from, which is why the matrix was redesigned to this, the peak of your civilization. So this is an important message. Agent Smith is telling Morpheus, he's saying, and, and what he's communicating is that human beings require suffering. Is that true? Yes, it's true. So the way, the way you understand is you look at the wheel. If you have a wheel of emotions and a wheel of experiences, as human beings, we're here to experience the entire wheel within what? Within the particular manifestation of who I am. So as Barack came to the coup, I got to experience the entire wheel. And again, as Barack Obama, the entire wheel. As this person, the entire wheel. As that person, the entire wheel. As the squirrel over there, the entire wheel. As the spider, the entire wheel. So you need to, you're, you're drawn to, to experience pain, to experience disappointment. That's when people talk about their traumas and stuff like that. It's just, everybody's had the same trauma, the same amount of traumas. They're different. But nobody's escaping trauma and pain and disappointment and anxiety. And no, we're, we're drawn to that. We want to experience it. Look at the choices that we make in life, like around health, example, for example, around money. Like we know with our health choices, what we're choosing to eat and we're not exercising, we know we're setting ourselves up for what? For pain. We know it. You know what you're supposed to do to maximize the efficiency of your body so that it uh, operates and functions and does what it needs to do. You know what you got to do. You know what you got to eat and what not to eat. But, but again, we have a program where we're drawn to pain and misery. A part of us wants to experience being old and, and having no flexibility and, you know, being on a bunch of meds and being on a hospital bed and, and back and forth with a doctor. And I know when you ask the ego, the ego says, no, that's not true. I don't want that, Rakim. Bullshit. That's what, that's what the, choices that, the choices you make are determining your reality. Same thing with poverty and money stuff. You know, I've been up and down the scale in terms of having money and having no money. I've been on welfare and food stamps and all that. Not welfare, but food stamps. I've been homeless the whole nine. Okay? I understand full well that it was a series of choices that brought me to those points. That's it. Not circumstance, not random shit, not a stroke of bad luck. It's all the choices. It's your pre-programming that brought you to those situations. Same thing is happening now. You know, anything I'm, I'm dealing with around health now is about my choices, my experiences, what I'm being drawn to experience at some point in the quote-unquote future. So Agent Smith is absolutely right. Human beings are drawn to pain and suffering. You see it all the time in relationships. You want to be hurt. You want to have your heart broken. It's okay. It's, you, ha you have to admit that you, you're drawn to that. When we look at our relationship choices, they're not based on intelligence. They're not based on practicality. They're not based on longevity. Again, we tr a, a part of us tries to plug into that, but I'm just letting people know there's another part of who you are that is it, saying, yeah, I, I know in like three or four years, we're going to be like, it's going to be heartbreak city yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, let's, let's keep making these fucked up choices. Yeah, no, talk to him. Talk to her. That's just the reality of life. That's, that's the depth that's trying to be, be communicated here.